Hi, welcome to LB0 Fox India Norwegian Ham Ventures. I'm Morten, LB0 Fox India. And this video is a long overdue one because um, for the last couple of weeks, I've been looking at this radio here, the Retivis RT3S. And not in a traditional sense. I've been looking at it. <laughs> I've been looking at it with OpenGD77, an open source firmware for this radio and a couple of other different radios. Links down below for OpenGD77 and the radio. And first of all, just to get this out of the way, Retivi sent me this radio free of charge in exchange for a couple of videos on it and in exchange for doing OpenGD77 on it. Because as you can see, Retivis actually officially supports the loading of OpenGD77 on this radio. And it's the first time I've seen a manufacturer openly supporting the installment of alternative firmware on the radio. So let's uh, take a look at the radio itself here. So this, this is the radio, the Retivis RT3S. And it's, it's a good looking radio. So let's take a look at the physical things about it first. On top here, we have a couple of different knobs. We have the on off volume knob here, and we have the channel selector knob here. If we take a look at this side. We have the PTT button and two function buttons here, and they got a little bit of texture to them. So you can actually feel which button you're touching. If you're not able to count from top to bottom there, I mean, there are only three buttons on the other side, we have the speaker mic connection. And this has a standard Kenwood connection. So you'll able, be able to use your earlier Baofeng microphones and all such with it. But you cannot use a Baofeng cable because the serial chip is actually inside the radio and not in the cable. So my recommendation is to get a radio from Retivis if you buy this radio. On the back side here, we have the belt clip, which I know this is going to irritate a couple of you guys. It's screwed onto the battery. But let's be honest, how often do you actually, how often do you buy another battery for a cheap radio? I don't. And if we flip the battery open here, it's a 7.4 volt, uh, 2000 milliamp hour battery. And I think that's pretty much correct. The radio has a long battery life anyway. And as most Retivis radios, you can see it's got this thick, sturdy aluminum frame on it. So it's well built. And uh, that means you can drop this radio without being too worried. I wouldn't drive over it with my car as I've done with another radio. You can see the link up here <laughs> on when I did that. But I'd certainly I wouldn't be afraid to drop it. If take a look at the front here. We got the color display and just as a quick note, OpenGD77 does not support the colors on this display, but if you use the regular firmware, it'll support the colors. And you got the keypad, nothing too special. So the appearance of the radio is actually pretty good. It looks good, it feels sturdy, it feels solid in your hand and it's it's got just the right weight. It's not too heavy, but it's heavy enough to feel solid. But let's take a look at how it looks with OpenGD77. And I've already done a video on it. So if you want to look at it in deeper detail, you can do that. Let's turn it on. So we got it in DMR mode now. And when in DMR mode, you see up and down arrows here to change talk groups. And you use the multifunction knob on top to change uh, repeaters or channels. So you can see I can flip through a couple of different channels, some being repeaters and one being my hotspot here. Pretty easy. We go into the menu here and the zone menu. Uh, the zone menu and we can change it to let's say the analog zone. And then you can change channels with the knob on top. So it's, it's user friendly, it's effective. And uh, it's, I mean, it's simply just easy to use. And let's look at the menu again, because it's got the normal things. It's got zones, it's got contacts. It's got enough memory to fit the entire DMR contact database if you use OpenGD77. 
it's got an S meter here. Uh, you can see my noise floor right here is, is actually pretty high. Uh, then again, the S meter is not calibrated. You can do that within uh, OpenGD 77. I just haven't taken the time to do that. And then you have what is probably the, the most exciting function, which is the satellite function. And let's just find a satellite here. And you can actually see the satellite moving across the uh, horizon here. Pretty low elevation, uh, but it's moving. You can get a little bit more information on this screen. And on this last screen, you can see it actually corrects for the Doppler shift automatically. That being said, this is not a full duplex radio and I have not tried it on satellites. But my experience with using non-full duplex radios or simplex radios and satellites are actually pretty good. Uh, it works most of the time, so I have no doubts that this radio would work with this as well. Uh, I just haven't tried it yet, but there will be a video coming on that. So with those aspects in mind, what do I think of this radio with OpenGD 77? I haven't really given the uh, original firmware any, any thought. But with OpenGD 77, it's a fantastic radio. With the original firmware, it's, it's like any Chinese DMR radio, no better, no worse. But with OpenGD 77, this is a fantastic radio. It's, it's the best DMR experience I've ever had. And I've been reluctant to DMR a, a lot of times, but with this radio, I've had a really, really great DMR experience. So let's conclude. Would I buy the RT3S? Absolutely. Would the first thing I do with this radio be installing OpenGD77? <laughs> in a heartbeat, it just makes this a fantastic radio. So if you want to buy this radio, there are links down below both to Retivus's website, and that's an affiliate link. And there's a link down below to OpenGD 77, and you can just follow the instructions. It'll take you about 20 minutes to get to OpenGD 77 on this radio. And that's about it. So thank you for watching and uh, please do like, comment and subscribe. And if you want to support the channel a little bit more, there are a couple of links down below. You can either buy me a coffee or you can support the channel on Patreon. But don't feel committed to doing that if you don't want to. Uh, I'll be happy for just a like. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching and please do come back. Until next time, 7-3.